It is time to get you up to speed on our other top stories tonight. One man was killed in a shooting in the parking lot of Jaguars, an adult club near the I-17 and McDowell Road. Police say 23-year-old Anthony Carriker was escorted out of the club by security around 3 a.m. Carriker then got a gun out of his car and pointed it at people in the parking lot. That's when another man got a gun and shot back at him, killing the shooter. And that other shooter has not currently been charged. All right, take a look. Do you recognize this van? Well, police want to know if you've seen it. It was apparently involved in a hit and run that seriously injured a woman in Chandler. Police say around 615 yesterday morning, there was a crash near California Street and Ray Road. Apparently, a woman in a wheelchair was crossing Ray when she was hit by a car. She is going to be OK, but if you recognize that van, call Chandler police. And if you're looking to save a little bit of money on a fall getaway, you may want to consider taking a train. Amtrak is having a 50% off sale right now on all September fares, but that sale does end tonight. So all you have to do is go to Amtrak's website. When you book that trip, the discount will be automatically applied. In other news tonight, a plane crash killed a trailblazing stunt pilot and his passenger, a beloved local TV news anchor. Today, federal investigators are in New Orleans trying to figure out what went wrong Friday. Chris Pallone has the latest. Shock and sadness in New Orleans after a longtime local TV news anchor and the stunt pilot she was profiling crashed and died not far from the city's lakefront airport Friday afternoon. Nancy Parker had worked at the New Orleans Fox affiliate WVUE for more than 20 years. She and a station video journalist were shooting a story about stunt pilot Franklin Augustus, one of the few African-American stunt pilots in the world. This is video shot moments before the doomed flight took off. Augustus's Pitts special biplane crashed and burned about a mile from the runway, killing him and Parker. Thick black smoke could be seen billowing into the sky. Soon, the city's journalists would learn they were reporting on the death of a cherished co-worker and friend. It's an extremely difficult night for all of us here at Fox 8. As you heard, our beloved Nancy Parker died this afternoon in a plane crash in New Orleans East. As word spread, celebrities and politicians with ties to New Orleans shared their condolences and grief on social media. Saints quarterback Drew Brees offered thoughts and prayers. New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell called Parker and Augustus beloved, one-of-a-kind individuals. Parker's husband, Glenn Boyd, wrote on Facebook, My heart is shattered. The dearest and most wonderful person in my life is gone. Television viewers who came to know Parker during her 30 year career of award winning reporting are stunned. It just broke my heart. I just couldn't believe it. You know, I've been, she's been around so, so a long time. Right now, it's unclear why the plane went down. Federal investigators are on scene trying to answer that question. Chris Pallone, 12 News. And late this afternoon, the NTSB said Augustus had radio to the tower saying that there was some sort of unspecified issue. Uh, he was told to turn around and go back to the airport, but of course didn't make it. So our hearts go out to that news family. Of